So this question says square P has a side length of X inches. So I'm going to just draw a square. It has a side length of X, which basically means every side is equal to X because that's what squares do. And this is square P, so I'll just put a P there. Square Q has a perimeter that is 176 inches greater than the perimeter of square P. Okay, so Q, and I'll say little p for perimeter, is equal to 4x. Why 4x? Because that is the perimeter of square P, just adding up all the sides, 4x. But it's four, 176 inches greater than that, so plus 176. The question goes on to say, the function of F gives the area of square Q in square inches, which of the following defines F? So my square Q, the area is gonna be found by multiplying side times side, right? Which I'll just label as two S's. I need to figure out what that S is equal to. So to do that, I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use the fact that if this is my perimeter, then that divided by four has to be equal to a single side. Again, how do I know that? Because when I add up all four sides, that's how you get a perimeter. So dividing by four should take me back to just the single sides measurement. So dividing by four, I'd have to divide both the 4x and the 176 by four. So four goes into itself once, goes into four once. And I don't have my calculator with me, so I'll just do this by hand really quickly. This is 444. So four goes into 176 44 times. So S should be equal to X plus 44, right? So that is, that is my side length. So then if I'm looking for the area, then again, I'm just multiplying S times S or S squared. S squared is the same as X plus 44 squared. And therefore the correct answer here is choice A, X plus 44 to the second power.